Welcome to this presentation of some of the new features and improvements that we've done to the drawing tools in Starboard Pro 24. We've added new properties to the textured brush tool to make them look and feel more natural. We've added new symmetry guides to mirror your strokes as you draw them. And the pencil tool now has variable opacity that can be controlled using the pressure in your stylus. Let's take a look. We've added new properties to the textured brush tool to control the count of each tick marks as you draw, the random X and the random Y offset. Let's take a look at the count here. If I select a brush like this and add a little bit of random angle, as I draw, you can see that the tip is drawn multiple times at each mark. The random offset X will spread the marks along the line, and the random offset Y will spread them on each side. Now, if I tweak those a little bit like this, reduce the hardness, reduce the size, add a little bit of transparency as well, and reduce the spacing. I could create a whole new brush that looks and feel a lot more natural. With these new properties, we've created a 4B and 6B pencil, which are great for sketching. Using the 4B pencil right here, I can complete the sketch from this character, like that. Now the brush tool is great for sketching, but when it comes to cleanup, the pencil tool is a lot more efficient. And now that the pencil tool has variable opacity, you have the efficiency of the pencil tool, but the look and feel of the brush tool. Let's take a look. In the pencil tool properties, we've added the maximum opacity and the minimum opacity to control the amount of opacity that's applied as I draw with my stylus. If I draw a brush line next to it, you can see it's a lot more difficult to tell the difference between the pencil line and the brush line. The pencil strokes that I made have a much more natural look than what we had when we didn't have the variable opacity. Now let's take a look at the final sketch. We wouldn't be able to tell the difference between brush and pencil strokes on that drawing. We've also added new symmetry guides that mirror the strokes as you draw them. Let's take a look. If I look in the guides view at the bottom here, I have the new section for symmetry in which I can add different types of symmetry guides that will help me when I draw. If I use the vertical symmetry guide, for example, and I draw on one side, you'll see that whatever strokes that I make are replicated on the other side. These guys are really handy when you need to quickly sketch a new character or add elements to your backgrounds. You can even combine the symmetry guide with a perspective guide to draw buildings, for instance. Right here, I'm using a one-point perspective with a vertical symmetry. And you can see that as I draw on one side of the building, the stroke is replicated on the other side. And I can go here and draw all of these windows much more faster than if I had to replicate or to draw those on both sides. As with the perspective guide, the symmetry guide works with the standard drawing tools such as the brush tool, the pencil tool, the eraser, even the shape tool such as the rectangle or the ellipse. Here were some of the new drawing features in Starboard for 24. I hope you enjoyed them.